Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw Minnie Mouse. We did a Mickey Mouse video. If you wanna go see that, I'm gonna link it below. Um, but now we're gonna go over Minnie Mouse and we're gonna be using this uh, Crayola brand magic marker. Really easy, you can get it anywhere you want. I mean, it's it's all over the place, all over the internet, etc. but you can get it at the store. If you want a link to that, let me know and I'll put it in the, in the description if it's easier for you. But you gotta comment and let me know that if you do. If not, it's fine. Um, let's get into it, let me draw your attention, and let's get going. So this is for beginners, like I said. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw Minnie's eyes. I'm gonna start from the inside out. I'm gonna start with this like extremely long egg, egg shape, and I'm gonna put two of them. This is gonna be her eyes. And I'm gonna draw a line across. So the way you can draw some of these characters is sometimes you can draw from the inside out or the outside in, meaning you're drawing the head shape first and going in, or you're like starting like we are with the eyes and then going outward. Uh, each one has their own uh, kind of pros and cons to it. Let's draw three lines here for the eyelashes. Each one has its own pros and cons. Uh, small right here for the pupil and iris, kind of essentially in one. You can put a highlight if you want, you don't have to. The highlight's just essentially a left open uh, marker there. Um, but the the the, the uh, positives to drawing from the inside out is you can kind of control your proportion generally. I like doing that. Or, I mean, it depends on what, what you can do both, right, at different times. Uh, but you might risk going off the page, that's the risk. Or, if you draw from the outside in, you never risk uh, going off the page, but maybe your internal proportions of your drawing uh, with a marker, let's say, might be a little weird, and you might not be able to move it. Kind of an egg shape in that direction, and this is the nose, Minnie's nose. Let's draw a smile, and that's essentially going to be just a smiley shape. Smiley. Drawing down, open mouth. And we're gonna put the tongue there as well, like I said, and also shade in that portion in the back to kind of make the, the inner mouth recede, go, go backwards. Another shape as well, <coughs> similar shape as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go over right here. And I'm gonna draw basically the outer line. So she has like a line kind of separating the color of her face to the back of her head, because she's a mouse. Uh, and I'm going to draw, it's gonna end maybe around where the eyes end, this sh these two shapes, and they're gonna curl around and merge with this, so the side cheeks opening up. Watch that curve. In my opinion, that's actually the most dangerous curve of the whole thing if you're using a marker. So try to e uh, make those even on both sides as much as you can. You're not a machine. It's okay if you don't do it right the first time. It's okay if you don't get it, you know, off the bat. So, and then uh, if it looks weird right now, we're gonna have to put the rest of her head here. Uh, kind of a V shape at the top there, and that's essentially where that colored portion of her head is gonna, uh, you know, end. But the reason we're leaving this open is for the bow. The bow is one of her biggest uh, markers there. So when you're drawing, when you're designing different characters for animation, uh, one of the biggest things they, uh, that they always go over is the silhouette of the character, right? So if you were to just see them in silhouette, that they should be recognizable. And um, hers, for sure, obviously, just like Mickey, the ears matter. That's such a big deal. Uh, but also the silhouette of the bow is also a bit, the way you differentiate her from Mickey. The bow is gonna come out here. It's not gonna go all the way out of the head, but it's gonna go upward. It's pretty high up at the top. It's a little bit higher at the top than normal. And essentially the way I like to think of bows are, it's almost like an upside down butterfly. That's really the way I see it. 
and there's uh, you can draw a little bit of lines here for the tension on fabric. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the famous ears. Uh, hold on, is this there you go. a little bit off the page here? Just a tad, but don't worry. So upside down butterfly shape, and then we are going to draw the ears. Kind of one large curve, and try to even that out. We're gonna connect the line up here. That's pretty much it for Minnie Mouse. Um, Minnie, you can also do. Uh, she has a lot of polka dots in her in her bow. You can do as many as you want. She's a cool character. Uh, I haven't really. Uh, I was really more a fan of the '90s uh, Disney era uh, in every way, like the movies, the. You know, I haven't followed it as much recently with a new Mickey Mouse show because I know Mickey Mouse is like a new design. So does Minnie. I will draw it though, and I will check those out because I do want to keep up with the whole Disney era. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, the top of the page cut off here for a second, just like the top of the bow, but it's fine. Um, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the understanding. Everybody's been so amazingly nice on this channel. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I keep seeing the same people over and over again on comments, and it's, like, really making me feel great just knowing that a lot of people are, like, hanging out, essentially. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll make a whole video on it. If you have any requests for different characters that you want to see, like, first thing I want you to do, though, is search if I've already done the character. Go to the search on, uh, you know, on this channel. There's a search box, check out if that character is here. If it's not, let me know and I'll, I'll probably put it in the queue and then I'll get to it within, I don't know, a few weeks or something. Um, if it's a viable character, right? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Don't forget to check out easythingstodraw.net. That, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, that is uh, kind of the hub for everything I do. It is very, for example, I have videos on there on uh, people that don't know how to hold the pencil, let's say, or whatever they're using. Like, if you don't know how to, like, control your hand, right? I have videos on that. They're totally free. There's a beginner starter video program there, completely free, no sign up, nothing. Just go on there, check that out. There's also recommended books that I recommend every single person who's getting into art have. And they're not even, they're not mine or anything like that. They're on Amazon. So I have a list of books on there that I fully think everybody should own. But that's just my opinion. Again, you don't have to do that. Um, and then there's some other stuff. I'm going to be adding to it. I'm building to it constantly now. It's kind of getting out of control now. I really, really am happy. And then pretty soon I'll add a shop. And I'll talk about that later. But as of right now, there's no shop. But I'm trying to make one, you know, full of stuff that people want, you know. Um, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.